Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you click yes to enable the journal when you first switch to the journal view, you can then instantly configure what items to track automatically in the journal options dialog box. If you need to access this dialog box at a later point in time to change or edit what the journal tracks, you can. To do this in Outlook 2010, click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Options command at the left side of the screen. In the Outlook Options dialog box that appears, click the Notes and Journal category at the left side. To the right of that, click the Journal Options button to open the Journal Options dialog box. To do this in Outlook 2007, select Tools and then choose Options from the menu bar, then click the Preferences tab in the Options dialog box, and click the Journal Options button to open the Journal Options dialog box. In the Automatically Record These Items section, check the checkboxes in front of each item type that you want the journal to automatically record. Then, in the For These Contacts section, click the checkbox in front of each contact name for which you want the journal to automatically record the previously checked item types. In the Also Record Files From section, you can click the checkbox in front of each Microsoft Office application for which you want the journal to track the use of files. Finally, Select one of the two option buttons that decide what happens when you double click on a journal entry. It can either open the journal entry or open the item referred to by the journal entry. When you're finished, simply click the OK button to set the journal options and then click the OK button again to close the options dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.